Our first guest's inspirational musicals and comedies have earned him the title of the People's Playwright, and now he's seeking out the next great talent in popular entertainment. Here to discuss his actor's workshop and talent search taking place this weekend in New York City is playwright and filmmaker David E. Talbert. Welcome back to Arise 360. Good to be here. The People's All right. Playwright. I like that. Yeah, I think my mama gave me that title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works. Yeah. <laughs> what do you make of that title? Well, you know, um, um, the plays, when we tour them across the country, it's not only, you know, my theater, there's two plays going on. There's one on stage and one in the audience. Yes, <laughs> you know, folks are saying, oh, that's right, that's good. Yeah. So, so I like being around the, the people, and I sit in the audience, and I, I, just, I just like that feel. It's like an extension of the church, black church experience. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Are you writing characters from your family? Like, oh, okay, this person, oh, you know, yeah. how do you create these oh, characters? Oh, yeah, I've been kicked out of uh, uh, the family many times. <laughs> oh, really? Because the characters, you know, that I get, they're slices of, of my, my, my life, right. so I have to draw from. And you know, my mother, she shows up, you know, in Baggage Claim, the character Jennifer Lewis played. My mother, when she saw the movie, she says, oh, that lady, she was so crazy. I said, mom, that's you. <laughs> you know, I'm about. She says, oh. oh, in that case, <laughs> look, she did a wonderful job. <laughs> wonderful job. <laughs> so are, are people scared to speak around you because right. you might take snippets from their life and oh, incorporate it into oh, your yeah. work? Yeah. I, I, my wife's girlfriends are the ones that I uh, get the most from. Really? And, oh, yeah, they're crazy girlfriends. My wife got crazy girl, and I just sit in my office by the door and I just listen to the stories and that's the best storylines I could ever get. Really? Just to fly yeah. on the wall. What's Absolutely. the best one you've ever heard? Yeah. Well, the one that uh, baggage claimed, the, um, the, the woman that went to Chicago and ended up going in a trash can, that was a story from one of my wife's uh, girlfriends. No, it wasn't. Yes. She went to go see, see a guy that she was dating, and, and, but uh, he just invited her out to dinner into a boat cruise, but not to his house. Mm. And my, my wife was on the phone saying, said, girl, he's married. She's like, no, he's not. So, and, and my wife said, go to his house and see. And then she went to his house and found out. And like, hid in married. a trash can. Wow. Well, she didn't actually hide. That was okay. creative <laughs> license. Oh, that would have been great, well, though. But you mentioned Baggage Claim. That mm -hmm. movie was a huge hit. We were yeah. just talking about it earlier and how it's all yeah. over HBO. They love it. It, 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 it is. I get uh, tweets every time. You know, people are discovering it. You know, some people saw it, of course, at a movie uh, right. in the theater, but a lot of people are discovering it on uh, on cable, which is a great thing. Yeah. And you said it was important for you to have that film be universal, not just a black romantic comedy, but a romantic comedy. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it's 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 a fine line. You say, oh man, you know, you're making a black movie. No, we're making a movie that right. happens to be populated by some incredibly talented, uh, you know, black actors and actresses. And I, I my favorite was. Uh, uh, the Nora Ephraim movies. You know, you got male and sleepless in Seattle. Yes. And I don't think there was even a, a valet that was black in that no. movie. I don't think, I don't think a chef, <laughs> nobody was black. You know, I think they showed a basketball game one time, wasn't nobody black wow. on it. So I don't know. No, but, any, but it wasn't real. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I love the movie just because it was mm. a great movie. Right. Yeah. And so I wanted to make a movie that was just a wholesome, good, fun movie that just happened to have uh, black people in it. Yeah, and a few white people. You're doing movies now, but you started in the theater and now you're on a nationwide search and a workshop you're actually doing to find more talent. Tell us about the workshops. Well, I'm, I'm um, uh, mounting another play this summer, and I didn't realize I was about to shoot another movie <laughs> that just got um, announced at Universal Pictures that mm -hmm. we're shooting uh, this fall that's coming out next November. Okay. So now I'm looking for talent to not only be in the play, but potentially have a role in the movie. Really? Ooh. So, uh, so yeah. So, so what are you looking for? Singers, actors, and comedians. You know, the theater is where I love, and um, so I'm always looking for fresh talent because, mm -hmm. in my opinion, a lot of the best talent is not all the time in Hollywood. It's mm -hmm. in everyday, you know, places. I went to Starbucks one time yeah. to order a, a chai latte, and a woman recognized, oh, Dave Talbot, oh, Dave Talbot. <laughs> And she started singing while she was, you know, you know, uh, why should I feel discouraged? Would you like some uh, extra foam on that? And why should the hell, you know, you know? And so, and the, you know, people were out of looking like she, like she was crazy. Why is she singing I on a Sparrow? She's auditioning. <laughs> right. But I ended up taking her on the road for five months. Really? With the play Love in the Nick of Time, yeah. Well, wow. allow me to. Uh, oh, oh, why out, come out, come should out. I feel <laughs> discouraged? <laughs> come on, Chloe, singing why, why should I? <laughs> No. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, 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 yeah, it's close. We'll work on it. We'll, we'll work, work on, on it. it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. I got oh, you covered. Walk on I got road. you covered. So besides finding great singers like Lola at this yeah. talent search, yeah. what yeah. else will happen during the workshop? I do six hours of um, 
I teach the craft for six hours on Saturday. It'll be nine to three in the morning at the um, Marriott Marquis Times Square. That's incredible. Yeah, so we do that for six hours. And then everyone that comes to the workshop, the next day I give them a one-on-one -on -one audition with me. One-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we do an audition with them. And I cast one of the ladies that came to the workshop last year in Chicago. Mm -hmm. She's starring in my new play. So, I mean, you know, it's an opportunity just to really learn the craft and also get a chance, an opportunity, you know, to, to have your career launched. Now, why is it important for you to give back in that way? Because that is a tremendous opportunity well, and a real-time commitment. Well, it is, but because uh, people reached out and helped me when I got started. Mm. And, you know, my, my first p play, I mean, you know, where I learned you could have thrown me in playwright's prison. I mean, I didn't know <laughs> what I was doing. <laughs> then somebody said, well, you got a good idea, but you got to trim the fat, you uh -huh. know, and, uh, and really help me hone my craft. And, uh, and so that's why I'm sitting here today, because someone helped me. Wow. And so, you know, you, you're giving so you can give. It's just a philosophy that I have. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's talk about the new film. Yes. yes. Okay, tell us more. It's a it's, it's not a, a romantic comedy. No, no, no. Okay. So it's a it's a it's a comedy it's though. A comedy. I, I love uh, laughter. But um, yes, it, it's uh, families coming home for for the holidays, for Christmas, for the first time uh, since the passing of the matriarch, their mother. Mm -hmm. And so all these family members, dysfunctional, coming there to be with the father and chaos and yeah. drama and the hijinks and some ensues, romance. Right? And stuff some ensues. romance. Yeah. Now Will Packer's already connected to this Will project. Will Packer producing. Who are some people you're looking at to star in it? Uh, I'm looking at, right. let me I'm see here, yeah, right. Shannon. Oh, we're ready. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're ready. No, we, we have, ah, should I be? Yeah, there you go. Let's go. <laughs> you got to do wrong. You got to do wrong. You got to do a Jamie Foxx. You got to point to the note. You got to point to the note. And try to catch it. <laughs> try to catch it. <laughs> what happened oh, to Jamie that night? Jamie is an incredible, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I did I did one of his, um, I did the NBC special for him. I staged it for him, a musical of uh, his move, his um, album, Unpredictable. Yes. So Jamie's an incredible artist. Right. You know, yeah. just there, his, the sound goes out and you just go into improvise mode. Right, right. And you know, things happen. Jamie's off the hook, singer. Yeah. All yeah, right, we well, know we can sing. He hasn't proven so himself. Other than Shannon and I yes. for yeah. your new film, yeah. who else are you well, looking I gotta at? See, I got to see what the budget's left of the budget uh, uh, there. Because oh, yeah. well, you guys are expensive. obviously going to take a lot of the budget. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, we're going to start casting in June okay. and see. But, uh, you know, expect, uh, you know, a lot of faces that you love mm -hmm. and then some faces that uh, uh, some, we'll be introducing some new people as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. and hopefully those people will come from your Actors Workshop and Talent Search that you're doing currently right here in New York City this Saturday, May 16th at the Marriott Marquis. I right? just come here to look at the wall. Uh, right? I only come here. Wall. I only come here because yeah. I feel like I'm somebody. You I feel are, like you Jesse Jackson. Somebody. You are somebody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, All it's right. Retrospect, right? Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank yeah. you for being somebody. You could have photoshopped Denzel in here, make us feel, you know, right. Denzel, Morgan Freeman. Now we uh, just Meryl want people Street. to focus on your DVDs over there. Meryl yeah. Streep. You can put Meryl Streep right. over there. Denzel. <laughs> There yeah, you go. No. Well, thank you for keeping us entertained for all these always. years and looking forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks please. so much. Thanks Come so back much. anytime. Good, 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 good being here always. Thank all right. You. We'll see you soon and we'll be right back.